as you know, the first course of action that uh, Cola and myself as the private prosecutor in the case took, we had requested the materials and evidence gathered from the Auditor General uh, because she had informed the media that she was carrying out an in independent investigation into the uh, immigration matter involving Mr. Penner. Um, of course, there's not just the Kim Wong Hong file. There are many other instances, many other irregularities and wrongdoing um, that she was investigating. Uh, in response to our request for that information, the Auditor General said that she cannot give us her report. And again, as I mentioned previously, we didn't ask her, her for her report. But nonetheless, what she mentioned in that letter in March of 2014 was very key and very vital because what she said is that okay I don't have the report anymore I've passed it on to the Prime Minister it is on his desk so the letter today from Kola um, basically is to request two things from the Prime Minister because as you know evidence now it's all over the place some people don't even know where it is anymore the Commissioner of Police says he is clueless he doesn't watch the news he will never watch the news that is his um, uh, MO, her, his, his modus operandi. The DPP has sent us a letter um, dated the 7th of May 2014 in which she says that she had sent the file back to the Commissioner of Police and in particular to the head of the National Crimes Investigation Branch. So we don't know who is in fact giving us proper guidance in this matter. The DPP is saying one thing, the Commissioner of Police is saying another. No one knows exactly where the file is. The only thing we are certain of as of this moment is what the Auditor General has told us and what the Prime Minister from his own press conference told us, which is one, that the Auditor General's report of March 2014 is in his possession. Uh, so we are requesting that from him. We are requesting under the Freedom of Information Act that he provide us with that information that is on his desk.